Today we are looking at the Transend Storejet 25M3. It's a one terabyte drive, but they also have a two terabyte as well as a four terabyte version available. Uh, it is USB 3.1 Gen 1 portable hard drive. Let's take a look at the rest of the packaging. So obviously on the front it shows you there about the three layers, so which actually protects it. So it looks like there's like one layer on each side and then a ring what goes around, which I'm guessing is that green bit you can just see through the window there. The packaging is pretty straightforward. It tells you what it is on the box, so there's no problems there. Uh, on the first side it tells you about it being shockproof, it's got file encryption on there, one touch backup and it's a USB type A which is your traditional USB connection what most people tend to use. On the back you've got all your different specifications, different languages on there as well as your barcodes. It also states that it's got a three year warranty which is good. On this side it just tells you elite free download of Transend Elite data management software. So hopefully that's everything what you'll need. There's a bit more information on the bottom, really small writing that you probably need a magnifying glass for. And on the top it's just got a hangy hook. Uh, the one terabyte version is £44.99. The two terabyte version is £59.99. And then the four terabyte version, which is slightly different ruggedized case, and that one works out at £99.99. Okay, this is what you've got inside the box. You've got your quick installation guide there. You've got basically some marketing material showing you about all the uh, items itself. For example, dash cams, body cams. And we have tested their dash cam in the past, the 50-50 um, I think it was called. And that was actually extremely good. Uh, and other external storage and solid state drives. You've got the drive itself, um, which we'll look at a bit more details in that in a few seconds, and then you've got the cable from the drive, which you would connect up to your PC, which is a standard, what you class as a USB 3 cable, which you usually connect up to external drives and stuff like that. Okay, the quick installation guide is exactly that. There is very little in there. Um, it basically tells you where you can get the downloads from, and your warranty information there or disclaimer. The rest is in different languages. The cable itself which is here is round about 45 centimeters long including the connectors. If you get rid of those connectors you're probably looking around about 35 centimeters um, long. So that's long enough for an external drive. The external drive itself as you can see it says transcend across the front there. You've got a little button there which apparently is the quick backup button. It's got like a stylish green ring going around that. I'm guessing they probably have a different colour for different models. I'm not too sure though, but possibly. Um, it feels rubberized, so it's not plastic. It does feel rubbery to the touch. The end bit though, that bit there does feel plasticky. That bit feels plastic so basically the connection area there does feel a bit plasticky i'm guessing it would take less damage if it falls there than if it was landing on that corner but we'll test how damage proof it is in a bit and i'm really going to put it through its tests okay so i've connected the store jet up to the 3.1 usb port on the back of this pc so there should be no limitations uh, we're going to test what sort of speed it's going to run at. Obviously it's not going to run at the full capacity of USB 3.1 because these things have got a traditional hard drive inside them and with it being a traditional hard drive they usually have a limitation of actually how fast they can go and it's nowhere near the capacity what USB 3.1 can actually do. Uh, the program we're going to test it with is Crystal Disk Mark as well as Atto. I'm just leaving it on the default settings and I'll run one at a time, I'm not going to let the video run all the way through, so I'm just going to skip ahead uh, and show you after the tests are done. Okay, so the tests are done. The speeds on Atto go up to about 134, yeah, about 134 megabytes per second. Crystal Disk Mark picks up 135, so pretty much the same. The read, or should I say the write speed on Atto picking up 123. Um, on Crystal Disk Mark it's picking up 127.9 so again not far off so we can see they're going pretty well. The reason why I'm filming it like this rather than doing a direct screen share 
is so you can actually see the device we are testing and you can't turn around and say hey how do we know that was the device you were testing well you can see it there it is there if I go on to file explorer you'll see this PC transcend D and it's there and you've got the software on here which is recover X uh, and transcend elite that's the only stuff what comes on so the recover X is the recovery program where you can actually recover obviously lost files if anything goes wrong uh, and then you've got transcend elite uh, which is their management software okay I'm going to transfer a folder now uh, it's called benchmark uh, this folder is 8.37 gigabytes. It's got all my benchmarking tools in there basically. I'm going to copy that directly onto the drive just to see how long it takes. And as you can see there, it's going through and it's copying. So it's 5, 6, 7 percent in already. So that's going pretty quick. So you're looking, if it carries on at that speed, it's going to be about around about a minute and a half to transfer 8 gig. So if you average that out, you're looking roughly 6 gig per minute. Bear in mind, it depends on the files you're doing. But if you can see the speed on here, it actually says the speed is running at 117, 122, 126 megabytes per second. So it is actually running at that speed what it says it would. So it is fluctuating now and again, drops to about 105. But again, it's is running very fast and it's constantly running fast but bear in mind if you're ca uh, copying huge files um, or lots of individual files that may transfer at slightly different speeds okay so that's done the testing basically what I'm going to do now is just check that the hard drive with a basic tool um, is saying that it's in an okay condition so I'm just doing a quick scan and basically says we want all that green if there's any red that basically means there's damage on the disk which is all green so that's fine so what I'm gonna do is do some tests with the drive and see how durable it actually is and then we're gonna test it after each test okay so let's have a look how durable this is so apparently it's shockproof. So that means, oops, I dropped it. And as you can see, that seems to be passing the test fine. So I think it passes the shock test. Okay, so I've got the drive here. What I'm going to do is plug it into the laptop, do a quick HD tune on it, just make sure it is accessible. So let's have a look. Let's plug it in. And good news is the PC seems to be picking it up. It seems to be picking up the files on the drive, which is brilliant, to be honest with you. So if I just try... HD tune, see if there's any bad sectors on a quick scan. Well, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect and I'd use it as an everyday device. Uh, it did actually take being driven over by a two and a quarter ton truck. So that's a good start. So what I'm going to do now is get this drive and we're going to give it a bit of a wash and see how it handles the water. Okay. Just give it a few seconds. Looks like the fish don't like it. I wonder why. I seem a little bit scared. Oh, 
Okay, I think that's long enough to give it a clean, so let me take that out. Let's see if I can reach it. As you can see, it's soaking wet. Okay, so we're going to plug in this soaking wet drive and see if it works, see if uh, the clean helped at all. Um, let's plug it in there. Okay, so let me reload the program. Oh, it's opening up the uh, file explorer, so that's good. Um, so let's have a look at HD Tune again, just to see if it's able to do a quick scan on the uh, click, select the right drive, scan jet. Here we go. And as you can see there, it's scanning through absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got the hard drive and we're just going to dry it out and see how it goes. Oops. Okay, let's see if it still works. Okay, so we've got the hard drive. It's um, been through a few things. It's a little bit melted, so I'm not sure if the cable's actually going to connect in there or not, but we'll give it a go in a minute. Also, the button on top seems like that's pretty much stuck. Otherwise, it's not done too bad. The rest of the case has been all right. The rubberized bits survived pretty well it's just this plastic bit on the end which has melted but saying that's been uh, run over by a truck it's been dropped multiple times and uh, it's been in the fish tank and well it's been barbecued as well so if you want to survive this apocalypse this may be the actual uh, hard drive you want so let me hook it up and see if i can actually even physically get it in there yeah it's a bit tight oh there we go might have just gone in it seems to be uh, seems to be lighting up. It seems to be working, and as you can see on here, it's actually picked the drive up on here as well, uh, which is more than I expected to be honest with you. Um, let's have a look. HD tune. I'll be surprised if this goes through and passes. Store jet. Quick scan. Start. As you can see it there, it's somehow passed all the tests. Yes.